Rotan is a community of about 1,400 people. Well, good morning. I want to welcome all of you to worship today. It's Sunday morning down at the First Baptist Church in Rotan. Pastor Tommy Rosenblatt notices the empty spaces as the distractions of summer vacation get in the way of weekly worship. One thing for sure though, the preacher's best friend Chris Davis is in his regular spot way in the back. It's the best place to be for a quick exit when the sermon ends. Do you remember what it is to be rescued? We too were rescued. Seems Tommy's topic for this Sunday is a message of rescue. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Go with grace. And that's really the business he's in. Rescuing those who have wandered far by the dozens, by the hundreds, or in some cases, by the thousands. Hold on just a second, Chris. I hadn't got hooded up yet. We got a call from this gentleman here several days ago. And so what we're gonna do is expose the cavity. All we had to do was pull down the plywood. Swarmed by thousands of unhappy honeybees, Tommy and Chris respond to a homeowner's desperate call for help. When we approach a hive, we're deliberate, we're calm. It gets exciting. Whether it's a garage, attic, or a crawl space, morning, noon, or night, these honeycomb cohorts gently find safe new homes for industrious, misguided bees. Okay, Bob, these bees are our most well-behaved, so you're gonna get to see some really gentle bees here in this yard today. We just got caught up in it. It's fascinating, and the honey that we make here in West Texas is very good. Chris must know what he's doing. He's not even wearing gloves. <laughs> it just became kind of a, a, an obsession. You know, we went from having seven initial hives to now I think we have 70, kind of spread around our, our county here. Go ahead and cut both sides. The comb is capped off. It has a, a layer of wax on it. So you got to cut that layer of wax off. I never get tired of that first cut. When I cut that cap and that honey's rolling over it, man, it's just a beautiful sight. You see that honey flinging out on the sides? One bee is responsible for a fraction of a teaspoon of honey and, and, and a small fraction. So if you, you think about a, a, a tablespoon of honey, it took hundreds of bees to make that. And the, and the distance that they would have traveled to bring that nectar back to their hive, um, there's a lot of miles in a jar of honey, thousands of miles in a jar of honey. Golden honey flowing into a jar is beautiful. We call our honey Double Mountain Honey because it's the primary landmark here to the north of us, the Double Mountains. And it's my favorite view of this area. This would be a normal setup for us, yeah. okay? So a deep with a queen excluder and a honey super up above. A close friend introduced Tommy to beekeeping years ago, and now he passes on the nectar know-how to beginners, eager to witness the miracles of these ambitious, tiny multitudes. Oh my gosh. We started teaching people who were getting started just basic beekeeping. When you're getting into beekeeping, it's overwhelming because all of a sudden you're, a, you're the parent of a couple of hundred thousand kids and you don't know how to take care of them. You get to try some honey right out of the comb. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that good? Oh my goodness, that's so good. It's exciting to see that kind of response. The heart of beekeeping is generosity because the bees are uh, so extravagant in their abundance. And that's why we're able to go in and, and collect honey from them because they bring in much more than they need to sustain themselves. The heart of beekeeping is generosity. generosity. That sounds like the title of a sermon. I'm anxious to taste some honey, guys. It's nature's perfect food. It never spoils, it never goes bad. What do you think? Oh, man. 
even a thousand years from now, that honey's still gonna be good. <laughs> and when you chew up that honeycomb, you can just spit it out and get some more. Mm. Mm. That's good honey. That's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> You could preach about this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>